Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Nolan Guthrie. I'm back for a week four video of Weed Awareness Month. And uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about something that comes up pretty often in a lot of people's lawns. We get a lot of weedy grasses and there's a handful of them that uh, tend to show up in, a, in our lawns. Uh, but uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of times they're all called crabgrass. And uh, the truth is there's actually uh, about four or five that we really come in contact with but they all have different names. So we're gonna talk about some of those weedy grasses. I'm gonna show you how to identify a few of them and uh, how to take care of them. So the first one I, I found here in this park that I'm hanging out in is called uh, quack grass. And quack grass is one that a lot of people will call crab grass. And it has a funny name. A lot of people don't believe it's real, but it is actually a, a specific weedy grass that shows up in a lot of lawns. And in this lawn right here, we can see a patch of it. Sometimes you'll notice, let's see if I can get the color. You can notice how there's a little bit of a difference in the pattern to this, this section of grass here. It actually grows in kind of a big circle. You can see the line where it's coming in. And when you get down into it, you can actually see there's these thicker blades of grass popping up in this. And this is quack grass. Quack grass is a perennial grass, which means it doesn't die every year. If you'll remember, crabgrass is uh, annual, so it'll die every year. Quack grass, you'll see in the lawn year round. It's always going to be. Right here, we can actually see some quack grass that didn't get mowed. You can see how much taller it is than the regular lawn. And that's pretty common. Usually, with quack grass, you'll mow and then it'll grow up faster than the rest of the grass. And on those uncut blades, where it hasn't been cut, and that's how you know you've got quack grass. You let it grow up, if it hasn't been cut, it's got that little crimp. The quack grass can be pretty easy to take care of, but you will have to kill some of the lawn to get it out of there. You can see it's all popping up through all the way through here. It spreads by a runner under the ground. That's how it spreads through the lawn. But what you'll want to do is use something like a non-selective herbicide, something like our cleanup or something like decimate, and you can actually just use a brush or a glove or something like that, some sort of sponge, and just brush it over the top of that quack grass. That'll minimize the damage to the lawn underneath, but kill that quack grass and then you can reseed in about 10 days. Over here in this section I found a patch of cheat grass Cheat grass is a very common grass, but you won't usually see it in the lawn. It's usually going to show up on your edges and your flower beds. You'll see a ton of cheat grass. It's what makes the foothills green this time of year. And cheat grass is an annual, which means it dies every single year, similar to crab grass. But here you have some cheat grass, and you'll notice it's already gone to seed. And cheat grass, because it's an annual, goes to seed, and then once it gets hot, it actually dies. And you'll know you have cheat grass once you've walked through this with some shorts. All those seed heads get stuck in your, in your socks. You're picking them out of your dog's paws. It can be really a nuisance. But again, you won't usually see it in the lawn because you're mowing the lawn constantly. It never gets up to this seed. And so it can't live in the lawn typically. You can prevent cheat grass with a, uh, a preventer, like a crabgrass preventer but you're gonna apply it in August, and that'll stop this seed from coming back and growing next year. Okay, and here's another one I found. This one is usually called carpet grass, sometimes it's called Poa trivialis, but basically what it is is a very shallow-rooted grass that gets into your lawn and it spreads out really low to the ground. And it can be difficult to control because, again, it's a perennial weed, and that means that you'll have to use a non-selective herbicide, something like Cleanup or Decimate, to control in the lawn. And here we can see the carpet grass. You'll notice the difference sometimes. It's hard to see in the video, but you'll notice a difference in the grass color. And then it also grows very, see, you can see it just start right there. That difference in color between these two little patches of grass. That's how, a good way to tell you've got carpet grass. Another thing you can do is carpet grass pulls up very easily. So you can actually pull it up and you can see it's very shallow rooted. A lot of times this will get misdiagnosed as bill bugs because it's so shallow rooted it'll actually start to die out in the summer when it gets really hot. 
this is actually a shaded area here in between these two houses and it'll actually do pretty well in this shaded area because it's going to get a lot of water but what you'll have to do to control this is spray all around the edge of wherever it shows up spray in between there and then reseed about every in about 10 days now i know what you're saying nolan you didn't show us any crabgrass or goosegrass and that's because they haven't started showing up in the lawn yet. So if you've got a weedy grass in your lawn right now, it's not gonna be crabgrass or goosegrass. It's gonna be one of these others that I've shown you already. But we still have time to prevent crabgrass. If you put down the crabgrass preventer right now, you can stop those seeds from coming in. Do a second application around the end of May, and you can actually prevent your goosegrass from coming in as well. Because they're annual grasses, they come back from seed every year, and we can stop them with those preventers. So hopefully that helps you identify some of those weedy grasses in the lawn and helps you control them this year. If you have any questions or need some help identifying a weed in your lawn, uh, send us a picture through zamzos.com or post it up on Facebook and we'll answer those as we see them. We'll talk to you again soon, everyone.